to another BD room at all. We're here at the Crown Plaza in Nottingham this time, not a uh, Premier Inn, no. We thought we'd try something a bit more regal. Uh, Checking in was at 3pm. It's a relatively difficult one to find, especially if you come in the car. But if you're coming on the train or a, a tram indeed, or walking, then just go on your Google Maps basically and walk down some side streets. It's near a tram stop and it's near the Theatre to Royal. Uh, you'll see the big monolithic Crown Plaza sign and you'll know you're in the right place. Right, so let's get started. Starting at the front door you have your usual fire information. So there we are, 211. You have an option to say that you don't want any disturbances when you're doing your um, work. See, I'm busy relaxing, please do not disturb. And you can also put this on your door and I believe if you fill this out, they'll bring breakfast to your room, but where's the fun in that now? You have to go up and you have to get your 17 plates of hotel breakfast and 7 or 9 pastries in the morning. Come into the bathroom. Oh, hello. We have our antipode, fig and fehua, hand and body lotion. So not your usual, you know, standard rubbish, mass produced. No, not here. Gilchrist and serums. Oh, a shower cap for those such inclined. Oh, just three of you look when you're getting ready in the morning. Some salsa, some cups for your drinks. Outlet there for shavers. You have your toilet around the corner. Uh, a moderate amount of toilet roll. I imagine they'd replace that if you asked them. Or if not, of course, you have the shower. And a rather, doesn't really pick it up well on here, but a rather small bath. There are plenty of towels at least. I believe there were some around here. Yes, there's some around there as well. Again, antipode, fig and fehua, hand and body wash over there, shampoo and conditioner. So. If you've forgotten yours, don't worry, they have you covered. Right, we'll start off in this corner of the room with your TV. So, you've got your HDMI and USB outlets there. So, if you do bring a hard drive or something like a fire stick, you probably would be able to plug that in. They do have free Wi Fi and um, it's just your usual hotel fare, you know, relative speeds. Now, this was more of a last minute thing for us, so we didn't request a specific room. But, you know, that's the kind of view here on the second floor. I believe down there, that is the main sort of, I guess, what would you call it? Like a lobby area. Uh, breakfast is served in there, and that starts from 6 30 in the morning, so nice and early. I'm not sure what that building is over there. NTU's at Nottingham Trent University, maybe. That's the car park over there, so it's actually attached to the hotel, you see. You have your usual coffee, tea, kettle, and mini fridge, which isn't usual for a hotel necessarily, but they do give you bottled waters, which I'm assuming are complimentary. Certainly hope so, because we've already had one. And you have a little thing, you see? Teas, coffees, Nescafe, and milk pots. So it's right there on your bedside table, so if you if you fancy a coffee at 2am and you don't care about risking burning yourself, you can turn over, slap the kettle on and pour away. We have the bed here, a rather large bed if I say so myself, let's see, let's give it a sit down test. Oh, oh, marshmallows indeed, yes, it's a, a very very soft bed, bear that in mind if you like a harder bed for support, they are quite soft here. The aircon unit. Easy enough to figure out. That way is cold, that way is hot, and on the top, slower fan, faster fan. Couldn't be more simple. I'm sure a dog would be able to work it out just fine. So, what do we have here? We have our phone, usual room service menu, and papers. Light there. And if you look at this, it's, it's contactless. See? Isn't that nifty? Under the table we have our bin. Quite a nice little chair. Felt. Let's have a look in the cupboard. Kettle. Kettle. Iron, even. Ironing board. And there's a safe down there. 
as far as I'm aware, the safe is free to use, so you don't have to pay anything extra for that. Let's give a quick sweep of the room for you. You'll notice that there's a lack of abstract art in here. You do have to pay extra for the uh, premium room for that service. Right, well that was the room, but let's go and have a look at the lobby area, the bar area, and the sort of promenade covered open, I guess, lounge type section where I believe the breakfast area is, and you can just sit and chill. Ah, yes, the lovely bar area. Now this is one of the nicest bars and relaxation areas we've ever experienced in a hotel in the UK. So much space, nice and quiet. You can grab a drink and take it any way you want to on you know, all these sofas, as you can see. Definitely worth it if you want to get away from the noise and hustle and bustle of a normal bar scene. Come out here with your drink or two, with your family and friends, and you'll have a nice time. The breakfast tables over there, they're sort of separated from the bar, so you know they're their own thing. But I will include a small video of the breakfast area and our food actually, which we had for you in this video. So watch out for that in the next couple of minutes. Definitely worth breakfast in my opinion. Uh, you'll see why shortly, but yeah, it's something nice to look forward to, isn't it, in the morning and to wake up to. And as you'll see in a second, even these elevators are themed. So we have Nottingham decorations on the walls in here, and that will be the building in Old Market Square. Absolutely lovely. An amazing breakfast uh, from this hotel. The omelette was from the omelette bar, and if you've paid for breakfast, that's all included. Well, that's the end of the uh, room tour slash review. Hope you enjoyed it. I definitely recommend this place if you come into Nottingham. Uh, if, you know, if you want something a bit more than a Premier Inn, but not as expensive as you know, sort of a Radisson. Um, check out the uh, Premier Inn video if you want to. That is also in Nottingham. It's just around the corner, um, and it's an excellent place to stay. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.